What's up and welcome to the Los Wise Guys podcast. I am your host, Eslam, a.k.a. Rock God of the Sun, accompanied by Dan, Papa Sun Killer, and Dan Emperor Disco. How's it going, fellas? I shot them. I shot them, everybody. So, today, we have a special episode for you today. Today, I will try to make you a believer, if you're already not a believer, in that Mm -hmm. aliens are real. They do Mm -hmm. exist. They are out there. And... I will do so by presenting uh, three pieces of information. Two of them Are you being talking about illegal aliens. <laughs> um, in a I've sense, a but exactly, not from I across guess. the wall. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but I will present you with three pieces of information. Two of them being videos from NASA, um, and I will present to you some information and then you know we can discuss them and you guys can tell me what you think no. um if you if you are believe now before we start do you guys believe in aliens right now well, of course okay i i for certain definitely do yeah. believe that there's somewhere okay. out there yeah it's, it's one of those things where i feel like too, it's very hard to believe that yeah you know it's very true it's very true well hopefully i will cement your belief by the end of this uh presentation it'll be funny for like after the presentation you're like nah they don't exist <laughs> you convinced me <laughs> you know what i thought you were about to say right now it's like yeah. well you guys believe it so let's get a new topic <laughs> all right let's just let's forget like, no this. point we all believe let's it let's move video. on just um, scrap the show yeah <laughs> it's all right thank you for listening to those wise guys <laughs> all right so um let me share my screen here and start the presentation. Aliens are real. Hashtag facts. Now, this is uh, something that has been around for a very, very long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you have guys heard about this. The Black Knight Satellite. Have you guys ever heard of this? Absolutely not. I've heard Maybe- a little bit about it. Okay, that's cool. Um, So here's a picture of what the Black Knight satellite looks like. It is an object in space of unknown origins. They don't really know what it is. There's speculation. NASA says it's a piece of hardware that fell off of the space station. Um, they, They also said it was an astronaut who was trying to put on some reflective material on the international space station when they were first creating it and that's what it is it's just floating around there uh but the thing is this this object is in near um polar orbit around the earth and uh i don't think that's going to happen if something just kind of falls off you know it it doesn't like being in polar orbit is kind of like something that gets done on purpose um so Here's the th- here's the conspiracy theory behind the Black Knight satellite. Uh, there is an unidentified and mysterious satellite or spacecraft of extraterrestrial origin um, is in near polar orbit of the Earth. Scientists have named it the Black Knight satellite. It has been transmitting some strange radio signals since the 1930s, long before NASA or the Soviet Union sent satellites into space. So also... This thing has radio signals, Mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be very important later on. So um, we're going to start back in 1899. That's where I'm going to take you guys. We're going to go on a journey. In 1899, uh, a radio experiment by Nikolai Tesla with his tower right there, which um, has been theorized to be a, a, a possible death ray tower. Um, which, you know, we can talk about in another video. Okay. Uh, but he he started detecting these radio signals f- with his tower when he turned it on and started doing his experiments. Later on, scientists um, theorized that he was picking up a pulsar signal. Um, but we think that it was picking up the the echoes from this Black Knight satellite. Now... Um, in 1928, uh, long delay echoes, AKA LDEs were first heard. Um, 
the space debris, which is the Black Knight satellite, was first photographed in 1998 during the STS-88 mission uh, and has been widely uh, claimed to be the Black Knight satellite. So they first photographed this satellite in 1998, but we were getting signals from it as early as 19... Uh, as in 1899 and then when radio signals um later uh, other people started picking it up uh, as late as 1928 so here's another picture of the black knight satellite right i don't know this doesn't what's up (laughs) what were you saying disco it looks like a spacecraft like something straight out of like star trek or like yeah (laughs) yeah it does shooting across the sky yeah so in in 1973, Scottish author Duncan Lunan uh, analyzed the long delayed radio echoes, the LDEs, received by Halls and other others, and speculated that they could possibly originate from 13,000 year old alien probe located in the orbit around the Earth's moon. He suggested that the probe may have originated from a planet located in solar system uh, of stars. Epsilon uh, Boutis. Uh, Lunin later retracted his conclusion, saying that he had made outright errors and that his methods had been unscientific. Now, um, the key factor here is 13,000 years old Mm -hmm. is is a very important number, and we're going to get to that in a second. But I think it's interesting that... So what happened is he collected all these... um, data points these how long these signals um so uh, when you send a radio signal out some of it comes back from the stratosphere and that's called the lde right the echo coming back uh but that's almost instantaneous some of these echoes took as long as 15 seconds to come back Hmm. now the time lag and then the sequence of echoes uh, when he put it in a chart created this uh these dots these um array of dots um and then these array of dots resembled the constellation of booties coincidence uh maybe he did make some errors but it's it's very you know it's still very interesting information now 13,000 years ago now i don't know if you guys have been hearing uh or have heard graham hancock speak about the younger Dryas and um, the pyramids and such. Um, he thinks they're older than 5,000 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the hypothesis of the younger Dryas is that, uh, that an airburst or an impact of a comet around 13,000 years ago caused the ensuing 1,200-year-long uh, younger Dryas cool period and contribute to the extinction of the uh, Pleistoc- Pleistocene megafauna in the Western Hemisphere and the disappearance of the Clovis Paleo Indian culture. This was from a paper by PubMed. Um, so the whole theory is that a comet or some sort of celestial body hit the planet when it was during the Ice Age or before before the Ice Age, something like that, and then it melted the polar ice caps very rapidly, therefore raising the water level very quickly. Um, and in, in doing so caused massive extinction level event that kind of wiped out uh, what is thought to be a previous iteration of a human civilization that was very advanced. Mm. Uh, not necessarily having the same technology, but um something similar in the sense of if you guys remember a while maybe like a decade ago or longer they found this like artifact in the ocean that kind of looked like a hard drive do you guys remember that no i'm not necessarily no No, i don't think i've heard of that okay i I didn't pull up a picture but yeah they found something that looked like a hard drive and when they like x-rayed it it, it, it seemed like a piece of technology, but like it was like super duper old, like, you know, thousands of years old. So they're like, how could that be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Pretty crazy. Yeah. So and then the theory is that the Egyptian pyramids and other megalithic structures were not built 
5,000 years ago, but 13,000 or more years ago, according to Graham Hancock, uh, I buy an, uh, Hancock by a proper, by in, wow, I completely fucked up. <laughs> Very sentence. good. More years ago, by according to Graham Hancock, human by an advanced human civilization. Yeah. Uh, which was, which would have been caused by the uh, younger Dryas period. So, the the theory is because the there's like 2.5 million stones that create the the largest of the great pyramids and the precision and the weight of these stones um and how they were put together that you literally can't fit a razor in between these stones that's how well they fit together also th these stones aren't just sitting on sand there's an actual like structure under the pyramid that holds hmm. it up so, it so they like built a base. foundation yeah. for the pyramids before built and then those stones are way bigger and heavier and i'm talking about like thousands and thousands of tons mm -hmm. in weight um so that's why they think the pyramids are much older and, and were made by a civilization much more advanced the than the dynastic egyptians um not necessarily saying that it wasn't like a previous civilization that resided in what was now known as Egypt. Mm -hmm. And then they're somehow, you know, they got wiped out and whatever was left over is what came back and took over their monuments and land and, you know, became mm -hmm. the dynastic Egyptians as we know today. But this is all just theory. Um, but I think it's interesting that this satellite could be theorized that it was 13,000 years ago. And my theory is that it could be something that these ancient civilizations that built the pyramids in Egypt, in uh, Mexico, in uh, Peru, and, you know, there's so many things. And now they, they think there's a pyramid in Antarctica, um, uh, that these ancient civilization that was very advanced uh, and had technology that is very different from ours today, technology that dealt with uh, frequencies. And there is such a thing that you can move rocks with uh, frequencies if you know the rock's frequency and you can resonate that, like you can move large stones, heavy stones with ease. And it could be interesting that this satellite or whatever it is was from that era and we just recently discovered it because now we are exploring um, our planet and the space around our planet with satellites and such and, you know, manned missions to the space station and such. So uh, my theory is that this is not necessarily alien. It could be, but it could also be connected to the ancient civilization prior to the Younger Dryas. Um, I do have a what's what is gonna end up being a considered a dumb question, mm -hmm. but um, so you mentioned that uh, they're theorizing that there might be a pyramid uh, that they've discovered in Antarctica. Yeah, is that has that not already been a thing? What do you mean? I, I, okay, so my mind you, full disclaimer, I don't. I'm not a science guy. I'm not a tech guy. Mm -hmm. This really isn't my thing. I know movies, and I know yeah. an Alien versus Predator, <laughs> the first one. The whole premise of it was there was pyramids in Antarctica. And I was just like, oh, oh that's just the thing. I just assumed <laughs> the, for my entire life, like, oh, yeah, they have everybody else has pyramids. Why can't they? I just assumed uh, there was always pyramids in Antarctica. So that wasn't a thing. That was just a movie thing that now might actually be real. I guess so. I didn't know that there w it was in Aliens versus Predators. Um, yeah. If I remember correctly, it was the Predators that used that to... Because um, remember, the whole movie, the premise was that's where they got the Xenomorphs, the aliens. Yeah. They would use that, and that's where the, that was their training ground. And then that was like something that they had built. I can't remember exactly why, but like that was their hunting the hunting ground that the oh, Predators would use. Then they go in and fight the aliens in there? I think yeah, I remember exactly. that one. So this yeah. is the pyramid that's theorized to be in Antarctica. Okay. This is a satellite image. Oh wow! It's yeah. just because it, it has very like, um, like hard triangular. edges. Yeah, triangular edges and point, and you know, it could be hidden. Like, and it's it's way bigger than the current Great Pyramid of Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so this is what they think it is. Obviously, for because it's such a um a task to explore antarctica because of the cold and we don't have our equipment freezes and whatnot mm -hmm. but also there there i think there is a base in antarctica i mean this all could be just you know 
yeah the government hiding shit from us but 100 yeah um it's 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 very interesting to always you know just combine conspiracy theories and uh think about them that way yeah Go totally ahead. especially to think that there's an advanced civilization before ours like using different tech like yeah rock and stone tech and chemistry and whatever craziness that are you doing in those uh pyramids? it's just like uh, i saw <clears throat> like videos of graham hancock at the pyramids and like he has like this credit card and he's trying to put it in between the stones and like he literally can't fit a credit card and that's a thin piece of plastic yeah, yeah. i mean How are and they for you to be able that? to do yeah. that yeah. with chisel and hammer is like impossible mm -hmm. right? especially to because get to of that the precision. size of these yeah these exactly they're huge I saw a TikTok where this guy tried to prove like, oh, it's possible, but like he was doing a sidewalk. It was like try doing a, like a huge like also two yeah, ton, a sidewalk like, is like made out granite of granite rock. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is granite, like one of the hardest materials on earth. Mm -hmm. And like also like the quarry where it came from, which was like miles away or kilometers away, um, is also another like how did they carry these stones? Also, two point five million stones to create the one pyramid right and now you have three it's just and and the fact that it's aligned uh it's alignment um to in the earth is is like a, a derivative of the speed of light and also how the three pyramids also are aligned to the orion's belt you know to the stars it's like there's a lot of precision happening in in like multiple levels that is just like that a bronze age or whatever age the dynastic Egyptians were um, uh, could have done with like these simple tools, mm -hmm. which I don't think is possible. And don't get me wrong, I'm Egyptian, so um, I would you love to everything. believe my people. No, I mean, <laughs> uh, I would love to believe that the dynastic Egyptians, my ancestors, were the ones that actually created these structures. But the more you hear about like how they were, how it's like almost impossible, kind of makes you think like, okay, maybe it's not aliens. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was, because we know extinction level events can happen, right? We know that the dinosaurs happened. We know that there was a major flood. We know that there's an ice age that can kill things. Like it's just, there's a lot of things that can happen to the planet that can make life kind of like reset mm -hmm. and i think this could have happened to an ancient civilization we could be like this could be like the third or fourth age of humanity um rising or a up to a certain... reapers exactly right <laughs> every fifty thousand years or you know yep. what i mean and um here it's like every 13 or fifteen thousand years and the earth's climate changes every i forgot how many thousand years or whatever it is or hundreds of years but um I don't know. It's just it's. Uh, I love thinking about this stuff and uh, mm. going through rabbit holes. Um, yeah, the precision is just like alone is just too too past coincidence. Like it has to be some sort of greater force or like higher advanced yeah. civilization, whether it's a prior civilization or or maybe like an alien came and and passed the knowledge around the world. Yeah, whatever whatever it is, it's it's like it's just too much to not be something of that nature like it's, yeah, it's yeah. A, none of it's concrete but it's just like there's just no like no answer for it <laughs> yeah man it's um it's wild shit all right let's move on to the next one so this is a video from a nasa mission called sts 48 uh, where they were doing some repairs on the space station and the the camera was just kind of pointing out into space and you kind of see an event happen um, that NASA tried to explain very poorly later on but let's let's watch the footage so this right here the the outline right here is kind of like the Earth is stratosphere or atmosphere that you're seeing. Um, can you guys see it clearly? 
Uh, I'm assuming it's clear. Yeah, yeah it's, it's. I mean, it's just kind of like an older looking. Yeah. You know, yeah. image. Yeah. Right. Did you guys notice anything happen? I saw like a little streak. Yeah, a couple things it's were like kind of like around. moving across slowly. I think. All right. So I'm gonna rewind a little bit and kind of walk you through it. So looking here in this area, it's empty. But then something just materializes out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then it's kind of just flying by. And then a flash of light happens. And then all of a sudden, you see all the flash? And then this thing just changes direction. And then you see something fly by it where it was supposed to be. Right? If it had stayed there. Um, Damn. That's some Star right. Trek stuff if I've ever and, seen. And it's the like, theory it's is... Like came is out like, of FTL. <laughs> yeah. And then we recognized it as maybe a threat or whatever. And then we fired something at it. And that's what you see going up past it. And that's why it changed direction so quickly. But the 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 speed that it's flying <laughs> at is just like so fast into like outer space, right? Like it just like it was it's zipping by slowly and then boom, it just poof, yeah. like shoots into outer space like crazy. Yeah, he's moving. So <laughs> he's zipping by. Still going. And and no. yeah, the uh NASA's um NASA's <laughs> Aliens like I'm in the hood. Oh shoot. <laughs> NASA's explanation of this event is that it was an ice particle. Um, <laughs> it came out of nowhere? Yeah, and, and then, then changed direction. direction. Yeah, an ice particle that just materialized, quickly changed direction, just shot off into space. Like, yeah, no, yeah. That, that's exactly what it is. And and the flash of light which was the thruster of mm -hmm. the um of the uh of this of the shuttle now the video keeps going i mean nothing much happens i'm going to turn on the audio because it's just like a lot of static mm -hmm. but then uh one of the astronaut comes on and then the camera was pans down and then they shut off the the feed like very quickly mm -hmm. Initiate the maneuver now. Well, we need it to uh for yeah so all right jo we uh predict the maneuver to the supply water dump attitude will take about 15 minutes and in order to start the dump on time we'd like for you to do that maneuver now we need it to uh prevent contamination okay i understand you want us to start the uh, supply water dump now all right yeah it's kind of just like zooming down and mm. then they just kind of just It's just really funny how they do it, and then they just like cut the feet off. That's hilarious. That's yeah, literally like, just like, no, you didn't say anything, guys. Don't worry. So let's just figure out exactly what's going on, and then yeah. like you just see the camera just slowly just pans away. Yeah. I was a nurse. Oh, oh. that's an alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I thought that video was very very like. Uh, for me, it was very interesting, mm -hmm. like to see like that thing just kind of materialize out of nowhere. But even that, it's kind of like okay, it was kind of far away, yeah. right? The changing, the, the quickly changing of directions is what got me. That's what got me, right? Because yeah. like it could have been like just coming around the bend of the Earth and kind of yeah. just appeared or whatever, uh, and floated into the 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 view depth of the camera of what it could see. Yeah. But the fact that it just kind of like just like did like a whole angle and change yeah. direction and then like changed speed yeah then it's like okay no this it is legit like... tried to break someone's ankles so let's like let me just cross <laughs> over real quick and then just come back here. let me cross over you see this a star rocket. somewhere it's just like oh. <laughs> and the way it accelerated out too is just yeah. like i feel like an abnormality too like the, it just moves so fast away now the this last video i'm gonna show um is kind of what like I've always believed aliens, mm -hmm. but this last video cemented it for me in like concrete and there's definitely something out there now. So NASA has a camera or a satellite that's always pointing at the sun and they're kind of just watching the sun mm -hmm. and they watch it because of like coronal mass ejections and like sunspots and like all this stuff that the electromagnetism from these like coronal mass ejections affect technology on earth like affect like um electronics right because of the electromagnetism so they're always kind of like watching the sun 
And in March 2012, for about six days, something interesting happens with the sun. And um, we're, we're going to watch that video Crew right now. Face. So this is the video of the sun from March 8th, 2012 to like March 12th, 2012. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me know if you guys notice anything. Actually, let me change up how this thing is. Uh, okay, you did pause made. it, right? Because I was about to say the Well, Earth now stopped. it's, yeah, no, it <laughs> okay. stopped. I'm going to restart the video. Okay. Yeah, so let me know if you guys notice anything. Kind of try to look as close as possible. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I just saw, well, I can't tell. It's hard to tell because I don't know what the sun's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you guys There's a, a hint. sun killer and you don't know what suns look I'm like? I'm seeing like little sparks that kind of like... <laughs> go around kind of like little waves that in certain areas so those are like the coronal mass injections or aka the sunspots or okay. whatever right but i want you guys to look at the bottom here okay uh, concentrate on the bottom section here this guy this is gonna be one of those did you notice the elephant that was standing there <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, yeah uh i don't know I'm not sure what I should be looking for. To be honest. Right. Like I'm going to zoom in. in this thing? All right, we're going to zoom into that same spot. And I slowed the video down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you guys see. <laughs> I legit, I mean, you could legit. Just I feel be like I'm not seeing it. Yeah, like every, what I'm seeing there, I'm seeing everywhere else. Just so it's like, watching. I don't know. Is that little thing that's sticking out? That little black thing? That, oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, that yeah, I saw. Yeah. All right. Let's look. Let's watch it again. It just so burst it out some neutrinos. <laughs> over here, mm -hmm. this black sphere starts to like Form. appear. Yeah. And then it's and then like plasma from the sun, as you can see here, mm -hmm. starts to slowly go into this sphere. Right, but oh. it but notice it looks different than these coronal mass injections, mm -hmm. ejections. I'm sorry. Very good. And then after a couple of days, it kind of disconnects, and then boom, this thing disappears. Mm -hmm. It just fed off our sun. How dare it? <laughs> so All that fusion energy. <laughs> so for comparison, this is the size of the Earth to the sun. Mm -hmm. And this is the size of the sphere to the sun. It is estimated that this sphere is the size of Jupiter. Mm. So it's pretty goddamn big. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that this sphere came out of nowhere, and the reason why it's black is because the sun is so bright, it's just going to wash out anything yeah. that's near it or that close to it, and it's just mm. going to look black. So whatever this thing is, it literally came near our sun, started sucking plasma out of our sun mm -hmm. for days. Mm -hmm. And then when it was done, did you see how fast it disappeared? That it yeah, left it like gravity ripples on the surface of the sun. Yeah, right there. Like that shit is fucking wild. The goddamn space mosquito. Like I don't know. I wonder if it's like a with a bunch <laughs> I'm sorry, of I'm like sorry. Life space mosquito is the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. I mean, is when it you think about it, it goes in there, it's sucking out what it needs to suck, and yeah. it just dips. Like it does. But like, <laughs> first of all, for something the size of Jupiter to be traveling that fast oh, yeah. is just mind blowing. Like this is like a this would be like a type four civilization mm -hmm. on the Kardashev scale. Um, it's just, it's so wild to me. It's so wild. And then NASA's bullshit like explanation was this was like, there a, was a smudge on the camera. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, it had something to do with like, um, the jelly donut. <laughs> it was like a, a chronal bubble or some shit like that. But it's like, if it's something like a bubble, it would be coming out of the, the sun and going back in like the coronal mass injection ejections and not 
disappearing away from it and leaving like gravity waves like mm-hmm. ripples on top of the sun's surface you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's just like i don't know this video yeah, is, is what blew my mind and like made like made me believe a hundred percent whatever little doubt i had before is absolutely gone now mm-hmm. like this is like aliens do exist this was an uh, a super advanced <clears throat> civilization that can just draw energy from any star it needs and then go on its way and travel at like the speed of fucking light if it needs the or, fact that they're able to withstand the heat too and yeah. all that plasma energy and actually utilize that plasma fusion energy yeah. is like ridiculous and <laughs> i really wonder if it's like a spaceship with like other little life forms in it or is it just like a living planet type thing that thing yeah. is crazy regardless it's still just I mean, just look at the sheer size of this, bro. Mm -hmm. It's so big. So big. And it drawing plasma, even the plasma is dark. Like, if you go back to, like, the bigger video, like, anything that's coming out of the sun is as bright as the sun. Mm -hmm. Like, you see this right here? All these things are as bright as the sun, except this part right here at the bottom, where it's completely black because it's being... Because it's this other ship or whatever. Like, it's just wild to me that... Also, I don't believe they've ever shown uh, a phenomenon like this happening again. Even, I mean, now they're probably looking for it. And if it does happen, they'd probably be hiding it. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, man. This just... It was such an amazing video. Like, I I literally can't stop watching it. It's, uh, It's fucking crazy. It's just like sticking a straw on our sun, just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cool like, now yo, that you have it. Um, since you zoomed it out that last time, now that I know where, like, you know where to look yeah. and shit, I was like, you you can see it, and it's like, yeah, it still stands. It's very out. easy to miss. Yeah, if you're not looking yeah, but, for. It, but yeah, but now you once you know, it, yeah, you're yeah. just like, oh shit, and then it's like that kind of even helps scale wise to really think about it. Oh like, yeah, the uh, yeah. on the size, like yeah, how exactly. big it is compared to the sun. Yeah. It really is huge. That's insane, yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah, there it goes it's right like, there. hey, I like the plasma from this young star. Yep. I'm going to go take it. Tell okay. me, that, why is that not a rapper name, you know? What's up, young star? Young star. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Sucking plasma. But that <laughs> is my presentation for today. Yeah. Um, if you were not a believer, I hope you have become a believer in aliens and uh, ancient civilizations and whatnot. I mean, there's I, so many more yeah. conspiracy theories yeah. out there and much, much more. But I, I just wanted to present you guys with these three things yeah. um, and kind of talk to about them. So what do you guys think about this? I mean, hey, that was that was cool, man. Like, I, I've always been of the mind of just like. How could there not be? Like, you know, yeah. I don't go out there. I don't go look for proof. Like I said, I'm not the biggest science guy or anything like that. Um, but you actually go in here and show and stuff. I mean, <laughs> shit, man. You, you know, butter my butt and call me biscuit. You know, I believe even more. You know? So it's like, <laughs> you know, it is He's what like, it is. Mass but... Effect is real. <laughs> yeah. I'll be, yeah. I'll be. Shit, those are the Reapers right there. We feel there waiting for us to reach a certain level so they could come and cull us. That's crazy, uh-huh. dude. Just going out in space just sucking, you know? Yeah. It's, you know, that's hey. just something scary. <laughs> that's wild yep. Dude, I, uh, you know, I, I prior to this heard of the night, Black Knight Satellite so I kind of knew a little bit about that but the other two were uh, were new to me so that was a nice uh, refreshing feel Get yeah. to see all crazy little uh, um, you know footage of these UFOs and, and the mind blowing feats that they're able to achieve like the, yeah. the physics of all of it like to withstand the heat, to be able to move away at that speed, to be able to even use fusion energy like that, it's it's just all mind blowing. That's very, it's wild. Uh, sci- very sci fi, very yeah. like a Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, all that like craziness. Like because it could be real, and to, it's really fun to really think about that and play with those ideas and yeah. to imagine, <laughs> to imagine what's out there and, and hope for more footage and clearer footage as as we send the james webb telescope out and all that stuff yes we're we're creating all this new technology and and uh, india yeah, can we point the just... james webb telescope with the black knight so we can see what it looks like better 
<laughs> that would be that. Would be cool, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard India picture, today yeah. just landed on the uh, south side of the moon or something like that. India, south, yeah, uh, yeah. So, con- congrats to them, and nice. you know, I, I really look forward to seeing what these these little uh, uh, satellites and things that we have out there yeah. collecting all the footage. I want to see. I just want to see more. You know, no, no. giant planets that suck energy. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, just the the sheer power gap between yeah. us and that, that just always blows my mind too. They come here and probably Well, we're not even a type a... one civilization. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hey, Frieza will come just be like, you know, kill us with a Frieza, finger. Yeah. It's um, what um, where it's just like, yeah, people, people here on earth are kind of just like, Oh yeah. We're just honest to God. It, think of it as America. You have some people in America are just like, we're America. Yeah, there's yeah. nobody bigger. There's nobody better. We're the greatest. No. And then other people are like, no, you guys, you're not. And it's just that on a much larger scale. Like yeah. we're Earth. You yeah. know, it's like who, there's we're the only things out there. We're like nah, like space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of it. Space is infinite. I'm sure there's something else out there. <laughs> like I don't know, it's a little, it's a little ignorant. A little ignorant yeah. to think that way. But yeah. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Fuck, I had something else to say. Uh, James Webb. No, it wasn't about the James Webb telescope. Et, but either way, uh, oh right, I think this was like a perfect timing because we just had those like uh, congressional hearings about UFOs existing and uh, uh, extraterrestrial biologics and all this crap and all this new stuff coming out about the government knowing about UFOs since like the 30s or whatever and having technology that's why we have what we have now based off of alien technology and blah 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 um some saying that these ufo sightings are actually our advanced technology that we don't want to say tell any other country about or vice versa it could be another country's advanced technology you know um like at the at the war world war Two, we were still fighting with propeller planes and then towards like the end of the war the nazis came out with the jet engine yeah where the fuck did they get this tech from right and it totally changed the war um so like it could be something like that type of technology right we have jet engines now we have airplanes and stuff but it could be kind of like a we figured out a different propulsion system that we haven't commercialized yet but it's only used for military purposes um who knows uh, you know um we'll, only time will tell so it's just interesting um and i am done with this topic uh we can uh, we can move on to uh disco's um movie or show what do you guys think? Uh, this week it'll be a show. Um, this week I will be covering HBO, well, not HBO, uh, Max's Warrior series yeah. out here. Um, <clears throat> so the series I've been following from the beginning, and uh, personally, I, Me too. I've, I've been. I've enjoyed it the whole way through, and this next season, uh, or the season that just came out, is. Uh, just a phenomenal one in my opinion. I, I really? totally enjoyed it too. I uh, okay. I uh, I just like the progression of seeing Young June and, and Assam, and then uh, yeah. and, and then this season it kind of like falls apart, and blood kind of gets in the way, and and everything kind of just climaxes in, in this season. I felt like um, a lot of a lot of fighting, a lot of dying. Um, <laughs> Uh, which is to be expected from like a fighter brawler type show, but I, I just love yeah. the characters. I love the background, like the San Francisco setting. You got the yep. Chinatown. You got the you know the Irish laborers and how mm-hmm. they all break up into factions and they all kind of have like uh, people advocating for them and trying to get down with the rich people. There's a, so yeah. much going on with this show, and I personally just I just love. I loved all of it. I was here for all of it. And uh, at the end, it gets real juicy, man. You know, the, something that's been there in the beginning season kind of just really takes forefront. And <laughs> everything just kind of explodes in, in, in a sense in this in the series, uh, this season. So I uh, so did I they totally leave room it. for a fourth season or do you think this is it? 
they they definitely could swing another season, I think. I, I mm. but it definitely a lot happened in this season. I don't mm. know if you've been watching or saw a little. No, bit. I haven't even started. I have not yeah. had time for anything. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I was I managed to squeeze this one in, and uh, I, I recommend it. I definitely, especially if you like Bruce Lee type. Yeah. Uh, so influence. I wanted to give a little bit of background on this. This show is based on scripts slash writings from the late Bruce Lee. I guess it was something he was working on before he passed that he wanted to do. And the story kind of takes place like Disco said in San Francisco. I forget the exact time period, but it was a time period where they were importing Chinese labor to build the rail railroads. I don't know why I can't speak today. Mm-hmm. And then um, because they were cheaper, cheaper labor, um, they were kind of the Irishmen uh, were having now they were out of jobs. You know, they, they brought other people to take in because they were just working for lower wages. And this is kind of like the start of Chinatown in San Francisco. Um and then, like, you have, you know, different gangs uh, controlling different territories and, like, obviously drugs and opium and this and that and territories and gang war. But there's a lot of beautifully done martial arts. There's a lot of beautifully done choreography. Um, and Assam really does a great job uh, portraying the spirit of Bruce Lee in his fighting style. Um, I think at least, um, he's really good. And then, yeah, young June is, uh, he's a really fun character, a bunch of other characters in the show. Um, but there's a lot of quality drama in the show too, especially yeah. between Asam and young June, just the progression they have, uh, Asam and his sister, his sister and, and her husband and the hop way, which the long Z, there's a lot of like, of, uh, of variables and, and drama and tension that, happens between these all these factions and it's uh yeah it's a really fun watch and i highly recommend if you haven't seen it at all definitely start from season one but definitely catch up this season was a banger and i really hope they sign up for a a next season because i think if i'm not correct uh it's it's still up in the air they haven't really um they mm. haven't set the next season in stone, so uh, okay. hopefully they don't just. Uh... Well, this show was canceled. This show was an originally a Stars show and got canceled, and then HBO Max slash Max picked it up for a third season. Apparently, they saw potential in it, so hopefully, uh, I don't know if they brought the same writing team or they had a different writing team, but we probably won't hear about a new season because of the writer strike and the actor strike this is something that was completed beforehand and they were just airing now so we probably won't hear anything about any new season or anything for a little while until all the stuff kind of uh gets taken care of so hopefully they get a fourth season if not it will be due to the writer strike and the actor strike so we'll see what happens yeah, it's going to be a tough couple, <laughs> however long this strike lasts. Man. Yeah, yeah. Oof, man. It's going to be a couple more months. That yeah. thing, so yeah. like, I I, I I, was fine. Last time, I'm going to be good, and I'm a wrestling fan. I got video games. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, with this okay. year of video games, like, uh, people should be good for a while. Bruh. Um, <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> thank, um, thank God for video games. <laughs> yeah, for real. Not, I mean it wasn't the biggest deal, but like Gamescom opening night live did happen. Yeah. And honestly, it was a bunch of games that I'm like, nah, you know, Gamescom's never like opening night, never has like the biggest games. They shut off this one new game. Uh, uh, desert, uh, Crimson, Crimson Desert. desert. Yeah, <laughs> Yo. Figured. That did you see the trailer? Amazing. Yeah. Yo, Disco, I watched, I watched the whole, um, oh, you watched I watched, I watched the opening. I, I mean, I was skipping through a lot of it, but yeah, I, yeah. I did watch it. Yeah. When Crimson, uh, when Crimson Desert came on, I was like, Ooh, yo, it's crazy. Cause like <laughs> they, they made a, they made an MMO called black desert, which yeah. I think I had like on game pass. I was like, let me try it out. Wasn't my thing. I'm not an MMO guy. Um, but, um, so this is like a single player one and it's like, literally it's like they start off. It's like, okay, you're out there. You're fighting, uh, like an action, rpg type thing Mm -hmm. you're going out there you're doing stuff it's like all right and then you could do this and then you can pet a dog and you can cuddle with a cat and then you turn into this horse that kind of dissipates and you start flying in the sky and there's flying castles and then you can just like do this and whatever it's just like wait what can't you do like (laughs) (laughs) anything you can think of you can do in this game they just kept on was this the same game that to me looked like 
um, Ghost of Tsushima, like, or was there another game? Because I, I remember there was a game that looked like Ghost of Tsushima. This is it, to my, you know, knowledge. I guess this is the first time Crimson Desert has been like on any type of like stage mm-hmm. uh, that I know of. Um, Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know if you're talking about uh, uh, Wo. What is it? Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. And that then there's nonsense. Wukong, the new thing that nope, they talked about. Not again, talking about that either. Yeah, I don't know. What you're, no, I think talk- it is Crimson Desert, maybe. Well, Ghost what else? Good. I was the other one I was going to think of was um, that game that came out and didn't do that well. Where no, no, no. Like, I'm talking about something that they showed in. Uh, you mean? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's um, another game that they had showed a, a little while back, but it did come out. And mm-hmm. I was just like, ah, it, it did have Ghost of Tsushima vibes. I think someone picked it in our league either what, this year the or last fate, year. The Fate Samurai thing? It was a Samurai something. I don't remember the title. I'll, I'm looking up the league right now to see if, if it was this year or last year. You know, I want to say it was last year. I think uh, JX picked it up. Let me check real quick. No, no. Let me look up the opening night. Yeah. Also, they had another person interrupt the stage. You see that? I did not. Literally at the beginning of the show. So um, oh, Jeff Keighley. I probably skipped there. it. Yeah, he's going out there. He's talking. And then one guy goes on stage. like, Bill Clinton wants to play GTA 6. So they, oh, God. Uh, they cut it off. Yeah. So it's like even Jeff even said it while he's talking. He's like, yeah, this is really disappointing. Like we, this is a, like the biggest convention in gaming, which it is. Gamescom is that now. And it's just like oh, with the most people there. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> people in the industry are out here trying to show off their hard work and everything. And then, yeah, people doing this. So uh, was it Trek to Yomi? No, no, no. Okay, then nah, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I mean like the like the the like the um, open worldness and of it. And it, it probably like was it like I said. Beautiful. I don't remember seeing Crimson Desert before. Yeah, um, it's possible. I just don't remember. This it's, is the first it time. Most today. likely is Crimson Desert. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because I'm looking at the other ones. Yeah, so it is Crimson Desert. It's just like the, when he was riding the horse and like you see all like the uh, nature and like um, yeah, um, all this stuff. It, it just reminded me of Ghost of Tsushima. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, this is it was when he yeah. was riding on top of like this hill and you you can see down and it was just like very beautiful uh, scenery and yeah, that reminded me of Ghost of Tsushima. So this is coming out 2025 if I'm not mistaken. They said something like that. I don't know if they put a date on it at all. Oh, okay, maybe not. There was something else that they showed that was like 2025. So I was like, oh, oh yeah, they have a lot of things. Oh, a lot of these. I mean, look at where we're at in the year. Most of what yeah. they're going to show is going to be out of the 2020. Excuse me, out of 2023. No, so, no, I know it was not this year, but not even like like I, there was one game that I saw that was not even like 2024. It was like 2025. So right, we've been like, seeing games that are not coming out in 2024. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, they've been showing us stuff for a minute. That's just like, yeah, that still ain't there. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll see. But now, um, league's doing good. Yeah, the league's doing great. He's doing good. Yeah. Got that. Uh, I got. It looks like uh, my Armored Core Six is going to scare score pretty well. Uh, kind of yeah, like around where I was it's expecting. It's staying at eighty five now. Yeah, for uh, it was eighty six yeah. uh, when it first came out. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm curious to see what happens when it actually drops. I would like to see that go up just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but that's bit tomorrow. Possible. Uh, twenty fifth, twenty fourth. Oh, it's twenty fourth. Okay. Yeah, it's dropping tomorrow. It's 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 gonna do I'm the same core. thing that uh my my Shadow Gambit did. Like it's just it's rocking towards like the yeah. same score. And it's but at the same that. time, like this is a much bigger deal in terms of game. Yeah, sure it is, but um it's I feel like Armored it's already Core like has a sixty a, critics. Has a pretty decent following. <laughs> I mean it's it's only made by the people who made fucking like Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I mean not Elder Scrolls, Elden Ring. Mm. The same, literally the game you know <laughs> that people were saying. I mean like, it has sixty critics. Ever, like how many more critics are gonna review this game? I don't know. Then? You're gonna have a bunch of smaller people jump in. Like not everybody got their hands on what what was yours again? Oh, Shadow Gambit. Shadow Gambit, some, yeah, yeah. So it's like some studios, like some people might have done it. Like, yeah, you know, it is what it is. This is mm-hmm. like people are like, no, this is Armored Core. Like they had a preview to mm-hmm. have like uh, people go out there and play the game. And they're like, here's a mech. Here's an actual real life mech. And watch us flip a car and then you can run around and move your arms in the mech. And people are like, fuck yeah, let's do it. Like they created <laughs> a mech. <laughs> like it's kind of a big deal. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like even back in the day, people... Maybe I'm biased because I was one of those people, but I feel like there's a good amount of people that like 
really yeah. were diehard. Uh, exactly. It, it had fans. its following. It's like if you're an hardcore fan, you like you died for it. Like that's that's how hard yeah. it was. And then it kind of like it went away. And then they're like, hey, let's focus on Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all that. And then they became so popular. Like we want to do armor core again. Everyone's like, no, we we give you the world. Yes, do whatever you want, please. <laughs> so, I think at this point, you're you're pretty much clinched number one spot. I don't there's, think there's still one threat. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You still threat. got like who? It's Rudy. Really? <laughs> Rudy is the threat. Look at what he has, man. Yeah, but I mean, look at what you're he already has, at a thirty well. point difference. So, and then you have like th- three more big hitters coming out, like Starfield, Mortal Kombat. And what was and then uh, like a dragon, uh, yeah, like a like a dragon, Gaiden. I think those three are gonna give you at least another like thirty to forty points. That's the goal. But I mean, yeah, if if Starfield doesn't hit in the nineties, I'm that's the thing. My goal is Starfield nineties. Yeah, the right. Like so a dragon, you got that. Like Mortal a dragon, Kombat, I'm happy. Mortal I'm Kombat, nineties. Hoping. You're fucking crazy. Mortal Kombat, I'm hoping, praying, we get above an 85. I think you're going to hit a 90 for Mortal Kombat. We'll see. I hope you're right. I like your enthusiasm. I hope you're <laughs> correct. I, I If I get over an 85, I'm happy. Like a dragon, if it's in the 80s, I'll be happy. I think like a dragon, you might get an 82. We'll see. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping Cocoon to really be a, a sleeper hit. Mm-hmm. Not sleeper because everybody knows it's going to be great. But yeah. like I wanted to really score up there. I need that to go high. But okay, so I, would, I need I Alan Wake to shit Rudy bad. Drew. Well, Alan Wake is not gonna shit bad. It's gonna fucking kill you. Happy birthday, Henry. Um, Happy birthday, hey. Henry. What's up, Henry? Um Rudy has Forza Motorsport. That Boom. might get a ninety. Nineties. Okay. It's guaranteed nineties. Forza. Okay. Super Mario Brothers Wonder, you think that's gonna hit that him? can yes. It's a one Nintendo bias, two mm-hmm. fucking Mario bias. And you know, it's so it's like High 80s, mid to high 80s, potentially very likely 90s. Okay. Assassin's Creed Mirage? I'm not a fan of that style of Assassin's Creed game. Personally, yeah. I would score it low. A lot of people want to see that type of gameplay come back. If yeah. Rudy's lucky, it hits 80s. Sword of the Sea maybe is going to be good. I think In all honesty, want to, be, want me to be honest, I don't think that game's coming out. But next. <laughs> <laughs> a- AK Axolotl? Axolotl. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Axolotl, um, I do think that's going to score fairly well. I would say uh, 70s. I don't think Sonic Superstars is going to do well. Sonic is a fucking amalgam. Like, Sonic is, and that's not even correct t- terminology I wanted to use, but I'm sticking with it. Um, Sonic, I don't know. It's Sonic fans love Sonic. She, I know, Sonic but fans. like the game does not look good. It doesn't. It doesn't. The game and does not look good. It's one of those things where I don't know how to feel about Sonic because people are going to look at that and be like, this is really not good. It's probably a 60. And Sonic fans are like, man, this is really Dude, fucking good. I almost want to make a side bet with you because <laughs> like, I feel like you're just going to destroy. I don't think Rudy is a threat. Rudy is the threat. And then he has Super Mario RPG Remake, which, once again, should not be allowed. The system mm-hmm. is allowing it. I'm not fighting it. But it's a remake. It's not a full blown yeah. remake, from my understanding. It should not be allowed in the league. But we'll yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I don't. Do you you want to make a bet on this? For what? I, mean, I don't what know. What do you have? Like you I'll have nothing. You a I game want. or something? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> help me get rid of Alan Wake too. That's that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, no. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah, know. No. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not making that trade. Uh, but. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. Rudy is a threat. Granted, his um, what are his counter picks? Okay, he already did for spoken. He has to counter pick the other one, and this is Rudy. He, he's been uh, he's ended up not even doing the counter pick. Be like, why am I losing points? Well, isn't it in <laughs> September they have to only pick? Yeah, oh, November first. It's November. They yeah. they only have to pick games that will are confirmed with the release date. Yeah, <laughs> they better and get their ass moving. This is Rudy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like Rudy's legit. Walter November second is gonna head, and he's just be like. I didn't what know what happened. I don't know about this. Like you, you were told. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the man went out there, picked a port, and I was like, "All right, I've explained this to you in the past. You knew what was going to happen <laughs> if it was." Well, a port. he didn't know it was a port. Well, that's what I'm saying. So he yeah, took it was a chance. But then yeah. when I told him, I was like, "Okay, so it's officially a port." You took a chance, just like I took a chance counterpicking it. And he was yeah. just like, "All right, so everybody's just fucking cheating." I was like, "No, that was 
you took a chance and you didn't even realize it. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. We'll see. Um. Anything else, gentlemen? Final thoughts. My final uh, thoughts are: I just got this new kitty cat. Her name is Momo. Momo. Princess Momo Megumi. Nice. Wait, it's She's actually so a new cat. Tiny. Yep, she looks just like the old cat, but just tinier. Oh wow, she you guys got two cats now. Yeah. Oh. My old cat's been trying to beat her up, give her the. Oh, she still doesn't. Yeah, she still doesn't like her. The old skibbity boot bats. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's just like a meme. She'll be like eating food or just hanging out, and then you see in the background, Luna's just like giving the death stare, like. What is she doing here? <laughs> so funny. They're so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, we found her last weekend. She was just a, a stray that we found while we were walking to the laundry mat. <clears throat> and uh, she was just looking all cute and friendly and a little timid at first, but she. Uh, you guys she took her to the vet? Over. Yeah, I took her to a. a a vet and uh, they gave her like vaccinations and dewormers and mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And a couple weeks out to give her like the rabies shot and, and bring her up for more shots. But she's been absolutely adorable. <laughs> nice. She, uh, yep. She's a, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Dan, final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. Um, Huge wrestling show uh, coming up uh, this coming Sunday. Looking forward to it. AEW is doing all in. It is going to be, and it's still insane that I'm saying this, uh, it is going to be the biggest wrestling event in the history of professional wrestling uh, at Wembley Stadium. Oh, wow. Yeah, so nice. WWE has had the biggest show there, and then it's just like AEW is like, hey, we have a huge fan in the you know out in the out of the U.S., and some people are like, no, that's bullshit. And then they're like, all right, let's go ahead and just say we're going to uh, we're going to put a show out there. And then there you go. They uh, they sold out. Uh, I think they sold out uh, or came close to selling out tickets before they ever announced a match. Oh, so, nice! Wow. Yeah. So they're yeah they're fucking going hard. Also, Edge might have retired. <laughs> I just remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> like well, that's kind of a big deal again. I guess. Yeah, but this time it was under his own volition, okay. not due to injury. Nice. But okay. we don't know. Like he kind of gave he had his uh he had what we believe to be his final match in Toronto. Mm-hmm. And then he kind of like gave a speech like, hey, you know, I'm glad I was here, this, that, and the other. And then um rumors started just like, hey, maybe he's just retiring from WWE. Maybe there's somewhere else out there that he might want to go to where a good friend of his named Christian already has a job. So, you know, we'll never know. Maybe he's done with wrestling, maybe he's done with WWE. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, to answer Henry's question, I, I finished my schooling for an electrician, but technically I haven't gotten a job yet. So technically, I'm I'm not an electrician. I guess I don't know. I don't know. If congratulations on on finishing school, though, dude. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. He he still needs to apprentice with someone and get his hours <laughs> yeah. in, and then Hopefully get licensed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go be a youngling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah journeyman out. I want you to I want you to get the little, <laughs> little, little uh, j- He can do braid. it. That's he has the hair for it. You have to be a Padawan braid until you're done with your apprenticeship. <laughs> if my journeyman's name is uh, Anakin, I'm gonna have yeah. to quit. <laughs> I would hate if my if like my name was Anakin and I worked the Star Wars fan, I'd be like, hey, I'll take the high ground. <laughs> um my final thoughts. Um uh, I don't really have any. It's just aliens are out there. Um, Henry, we do love you because you're the killer fox. Um, always enjoy having you uh, on the podcast. Whenever you're free, let us know so you can join us for an episode. Um, but with that said, thank you for listening to Los Wise Guys podcast. If you like what you hear, follow us on social media. Like, subscribe, share, rate, and review. Um, go check out the Los Wise Guys website, loswiseguys.com. Thank you for listening. Have a great week.